All right, you're starting to become dangerous now. You learned a few things. Let's make it a bit more complicated and learn how to do multiple joins at once. So number seven, write a SQL statement that shows all the managers and the city where they are a manager. So when it says all the managers, that implies maybe there's more than one type of manager that we need to collect. So let's take a look at that. But show all managers in the city. Uh, display location city, first name, last name, position, title. All right. Let's copy that and head back here. All right. So let's, first of all, I always like to start with what we need to display. Location, city, first name, last name, position, title. Great. So uh, the last one was position, title. What's it called here in the position table? Oh, look, I can just look right here. There we go. Position, title. And it started with, it said location, oops, location, city, last name, first name. No, it wanted first name, last name, I think. Oh, no, I can't remember. Locate first name, last name. Okay. All right, perfect. So where do we, where are we going to get this from? Let's, uh, uh, let's take care of these things. It says, Display those, order by, location, city, great. Let's put that in here, location, city, before I forget. Okay, so now it's just display. Uh, we gotta do some joins, if because this comes from the location table, employee table, position table. So the order, because we're doing inner joins again, and that's typically what you'll be doing uh, for analytics purposes, because of that, the order that we join things in doesn't matter a whole lot, uh, or even at all. So since I start with employee, I'll just leave that one there and say, uh, let's enter join. I'll start with location on. So remember it's table name dot key equals table two name dot key. So let's say employee. And again, it doesn't matter if I start with the employee table or the location table, but it's table name dot uh, location ID equals location dot location. Oh, I always do that location ID. So I'm telling it, foreign key equals primary key, but now I need to join those results to the position table. So I simply enter down the line and add, add another inner join. So now after this, after this line's been run right here, assume, or we can conceptualize employee and location as being one table. Now they've been joined together. So we're essentially saying, take this one table that now exists and join it to another table position on um, but we still refer to the, the table name that we want. So we'll say uh, employee, keep it simple, dot uh, position ID equals position dot position ID. So again, the reason we taught you ERD is so that you would understand this relationship of these two foreign keys right here being related to primary keys right here and here so that you would know how to write join statements. So uh, if you're struggling with this at all, talk to your professor. This is a very important concept to make sure that you get. We have three tables that need to be joined together, and we need to know what the table, um, what the database schema is, or, the, or see the ERD in front of us so that we can know which fields to match up with which fields when we write a joint statement. Okay, let's keep going here. So the criteria is all managers. Well, let's take a look in the, the, in the position table and see are there multiple types of managers? Yes, there's a regular manager and a regional manager. So we could do this a few ways. We could, and, and SQL is one of these things, all programming is one of these things where there's more than one right way to do something. And as long as your way works and is not more costly or time consuming than another way, uh, then it's perfectly fine. So we could do this a few ways. We could say where uh, position title equals manager or position title equals regional manager, or we could do some fuzzy logic and simply say where position title like, and then we put that percent sign first and say manager. That means there can be anything or nothing in front of manager, uh, as long as it's got a capital M and then manager after it. So that'll work for this one. Manager, manager, that should do the job. Uh, and we've already got the order by correct in there. So I think that's it. Let's run this and see if I've missed something. Now it looks good. We ordered by location city right there. Yep, that works. 
Uh, we've got that. We've got their position title. We've got both managers and our two regional managers. Cool. That's it for this video.